Hello everyone, my name is V from IELTS Speaking. In this series of videos, I'd like to draw your attention to some common pronunciation mistakes that Vietnamese learners of English usually make. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at these five words. Look at the first word and let's listen to the first example. Not everyone in the countryside can access the internet. Can access the internet. As you can see in this sentence, access is used as a verb. In the second example, not everyone in the countryside can gain access to the internet. Access is used as a noun. But in both cases, we pronounce this word access with a stress on the first syllable. So, remember that there's only one way to pronounce the word, even if we are using it as a verb or a noun, and that is access. We have access as a verb or a noun, as I said before, and the adjective is accessible. Accessible. Now listen to the example. This information should be accessible to the public. A lot of people are confused about the two words. First, access. How about the second word? Is assess, with the stress on the second syllable. Now, let's listen to the example. All four English skills are assessed in the IELTS examination, assess is a verb. Moving on, let's take a look at the example. In this example, we have the verb record. I usually record myself when practicing speaking English. In the second example, we use this word as a noun. And to pronounce this word, we have to say record or record now listen this record is unbreakable or this record is unbreakable so we stress the first syllable when this word is a noun and the second syllable when it's a verb now we have another word a very familiar word which is produce Produce, as you know, is a verb, as in the example. Thanks to modern technology, now we can produce more goods with fewer workers. But did you know that this word is also a noun, an uncountable noun? And in this case, how is it pronounced? Is produce, produce. The farmers go to the market every day to sell their produce. So be careful with this word, produce, as a verb, and produce, as a noun. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to facebook.com slash speak English with Ivy. See you again.